according to government data, commuting to work by bicycle is up 36% over the last five years. I'm among the many people who are happily spinning my wheels as I head to work. And now that it's spring, Lauren Mooney, editor-in-chief of Bicycling Magazine, is here with four of the latest and greatest bikes for the whole family. Good morning. Good morning, Harry. Thanks for having me. Well, you sure see this more and more. People who have a kind of utilitarian kind of bike that they can use really to commute with. What is this one That's about? right, we've got uh, the city bike here. This is the Globe Live. And as you can see, for utility, it's got a, a front rack for your groceries or whatever you want. The cool thing about city bikes now, it's really becoming as much a style choice as a utility choice. So right. as you can see, this is, a cool this looking is not bike. just a useful bike, it's a cool looking bike. I would also say, you know, just for people who would be curious, the, the technology has changed so much on these. This is so much lighter than a bike like this would have been, say, five years ago. That's right. You've got lightweight aluminum, constantly uh, getting more lightweight and durable. Yeah. Talk to me <laughs> some more about why should people should ride their bikes. Because you know what? There's never a time that I get on my bike I don't feel better. You know, when it, it just it makes you feel good. Look at this. Looks good, right? Yeah, everybody's like... Look out, look out! Somebody's gonna get crushed! Ah! There you go, this is a cool bike. Now what's the, what's the next one here? Well next we're moving on to a road bike. It's got the familiar drop handlebars, looks a little more like the kind of bike Lance Armstrong would ride. Right. This is a Jameis Ventura race. It's about $1,300 and these bikes are not cheap, but what you're paying for is a uh, lighter weight, right. even lighter weight, sure. uh, and, and better technology and durability. Now is this a female this, centric model? This is se? a women specific bike, right. uh, very similar to a standard unisex bike. Right. The geometry is a little bit different to accommodate typically shorter reach sure. uh, that women have, maybe a little bit more narrow handlebars. Well, and people think they, you know, once they start to ride bikes and especially get, spend a lot of time on the road, right. they need to spend thousands and thousands of dollars. This sort of says not necessarily true. Well, spending thousands and thousands, you get a really nice bike. Right. I'm not gonna, sure. I'm not gonna lie but to you. There's but a lot of super technology. This is really all you this. need to get started, grow into the sport, maybe even do your first triathlon. There, oh, nice. That is a beautiful bike. All right, let's talk about mountain bikes here. I remember my first mountain bike living in Colorado almost 30 years ago, weighed about 700,000 pounds. I was gonna say, these have come a ways too. This is the Cannondale F8. It's about $550. And so this is a good entry point for the mountain bike. You'll notice the uh, shock absorber on the front to take some bumps. Yep. Uh, if you go up higher in price range, you'll get a full suspension bike, but this does have mechanical disc brakes, which are sharper stopping uh, in muddy and wet conditions. Oh yeah, oh take a look, see, you can see them here. This is the disc brake. Right, that's right. More wow. similar to the kind of brakes you have on the front of your car. Way cool. So and especially like, in mountain biking, you really need to be able to make some you, severe stops You do and need stops. to have the control, that's yeah. right. This is very cool, very nice. And? And for the whole family, we've got these specialized hot rock uh, with 24 inch wheels here. This is $330. Now, when you're buying for your kids, you definitely don't want to skimp. You want to go with a trusted brand name, like a Specialized, and also be sure that you're getting your bike from a local bike shop mm -hmm. instead of a big box store. The local bike shops, they've got professionally trained mechanics. You're going to get a better assembled bike, a safer bike. And, and, by there's, spending, a place that, and there's a place you can actually bring it back to if there is, in a fact, a problem. A lot of times you get free service for a year if you buy your bike at the shop. Yep, yep. And, uh, you know, you may spend a little more, but you're going to get quality and safety and durability. So when your kid grows out of it, you may have a, a hand-me-down to share around the neighborhood. Let's hear it for bikes. Yeah! There you go. Lauren Mooney, thank you so much. Thank Always you. a pleasure to see you. For more on these bikes, all you need to do is go to our website. That's earlyshow.cbsnews.com. A lot happens early on The Early Show. Weekday mornings on CBS.